beach this evening. Not going to hold on to the warmth, unfortunately, that we had this afternoon as there's really no clouds to keep it in place. 6 p.m. as the sun begins to set, we're at 58 degrees, but we start to plummet down to the 30s by 2 a.m. going down to 38 degrees. We should end up in the mid to low 30s overnight as our low dry the past couple of days, but storms are in the forecast, and I'm going to let you know when that much needed rain is coming for both your lawn and your garden. Yeah, no fire, fortunately, but it is a bit smoky out there. Looking at our sky cam right now, you see the haze over the lake and even into the Twin Cities looking over uptown right now. Currently, it is 77 degrees, a bit humid out there. Dew points in the mid 60s feels a bit warmer. Storms have been associated with a few funnel cloud reports. Not really expecting much in terms of really long track devastating tornadoes, but a few funnel clouds, even a brief touchdown may occur. The coolest high we've seen in 75 days. Yes, May 12th was the last time we saw temperatures below 68 degrees. Unfortunately, this will be our last sunrise tomorrow before 6 a.m. It's hard to believe that fall is already upon us. It's been a gorgeous day today, but I'll let you know when that changes and it could affect your morning commute tonight at five. But those clouds are important because Mars is making its closest approach to Earth since 2003. So those of us trying to view that may get our viewing obstructed by those clouds. It's even 40s up in Grand Marais, so it is August 1st, but we did have a cold front move through. That's why we're feeling a bit cooler, a bit cloudier as well. Severe storms really got rolling through southern Minnesota yesterday afternoon, particularly along the I-90 corridor. Check it out those hail reports. We had a gorgeous weekend, but I'll let you know when rain returns to the forecast tonight at 11. Well, hopefully some calm for that fire soon. James, how about the weather here? Yeah, no fire, fortunately, but it is a bit smoky out there. Looking at our sky cam right now, you see the haze over the lake and even into the Twin Cities looking over uptown right now. Currently, it is 77 degrees, a bit humid out there. Dew points in the mid 60s, feels a bit warmer. We've got uh, heat indices close to 80 degrees. We also have a nice west southwesterly breeze coming in at three miles an hour. Now we have had a pretty northerly flow over the past couple of days and kind of a double edged sword here because it has cleared out the humidity, but it has brought in the smoke over the past couple of days. In fact, all 87 counties in Minnesota under an air quality alert right now for that smoke. And also we're under a code orange in, in the uh, air quality index for today. So that means a uh, people who are more sensitive to, you know, fine particulates such as smoke and soot. You know, you may want to take an inside day. It's kind of a Netflix kind of day for you guys. Also, just people outdoors in general may want to take a few indoor breaks. But fortunately, uh, it looks like a more friendly pattern is on the way. And that's thanks to this high pressure system right here. It was up to our northwest, and that's what brought in those northwesterly breezes. But now it's down to our south. So that wind's going to help push the smoke, at least disperse it, over the next couple of days, that air quality alert does expire at noon on Sunday. So fortunately, some relief is on the way, but the one constant has been the heat. Right now it's 77 degrees in the Twin Cities, as I just mentioned, 79 out in Wilmer, 79 in Alexandria as well. Really 70s and 80s across the board for Western Wisconsin into Minnesota. 90s are expected today for the metro area. Really upper 80s and 90s really expected for much of Minnesota today. Really for the next couple of days, we've seen the 90s for the past three days expecting it for the next three days as well. So you're getting into Sunday 90s as well and more of the same into Monday. Now we are at 16 90 degree days. That's well above average for the summer. To date, we're usually at 11. There's 13 usually for the entire summer. So we're already above average, but we're still kind of a uh, far cry away from the record setting heat back in 1988 where we had 44 90 degree days. So fortunately not that hot, but it will be for the next couple of days, 90, 91, 90 for Saturday, Sunday and Monday respectively as those winds shift back to the south for Sunday and Monday looking a bit more humid. That's kind of our trade off for getting rid of the smoke, but check out Tuesday and Wednesday where those rain chances finally come back in the forecast looking a bit cooler as well. 86 on Tuesday, 82 on Wednesday, really keeping that trend of the 80s for next week, looking very, very comfortable indeed for next week after that uh, little brief spout of rain. Back to you guys. All right, flirting with the 90s, I like that. <laughs> Thanks, Good afternoon, James. Minnesota in the Twin Cities right now. It's currently 82 degrees, feels a bit warmer thanks to the dew point in the mid 
to low 60s. We also have a nice southeasterly breeze coming in at 9 miles an hour, making it feel a little bit warmer as well. That's thanks in part to this high pressure system that was to our northwest, bringing us some, some nice northerly winds, but now it's to our northeast, and that's going to shift the winds to the southeast, making us once again feel a bit warmer. Another thing that's going to make us feel a bit warmer is this warm front right here. It's going to move through tomorrow afternoon west to east, so the areas out west are really going to feel the heat first. This is our heat index model for tomorrow. This is what it's going to feel like tomorrow combined with dew points and temperatures. Already going to feel like 79 degrees for your morning commute tomorrow. And check out how these temperatures absolutely skyrocket into the triple digits for the Twin Cities. 101 in St. Cloud going to be very, very hot outside, even into the evening hours as well. This is 7 o'clock, still 99 in the Twin Cities. Orenville still hanging on to the triple digits as well. Going to be a very, very hot day tomorrow, folks. In fact, we do have a heat advisory in effect from 1 to 8 p.m. tomorrow. Heat indices could get as high as, get this, 105 degrees. So please, folks, stay hydrated. Only go outside when absolutely necessary. Now, in terms of the weather pattern over the next day or so, we're going to have the cold end of this storm really not going to cool down temperatures too much, but it will pop up some shower chances, especially and storm chances as well, especially Wednesday overnight into Thursday afternoon. That's going to be our best shot and it's going to stick around for the next couple of days as well. Looks like most of the storm chances will stay to the south, but it is going to hang around for the next day or two, especially going into Friday even. And that's where we could see our shower chances. Once again, looks like mostly Thursday, but really could stick around for Friday as well. And we're going to have another round of storms just in time for Sunday. So maybe we'll dry off a bit on Saturday, really staying warm, not too much colder on the backside of that cold front, but we will have another front move through Sunday. That looks like our next best chance for rain and looking a lot better for your Monday and Tuesday. So once again, Thursday and Sunday look like our best chance for rain, maybe a little bit of lingering in between Friday and Saturday. But after Sunday, the start of next week looks a lot better, a lot cooler as well. Enjoy. Good evening, everyone. Looks like we have a bit of a slowdown going on I-64 eastbound for Settlers Landing. A bit of a blockage going on the tunnel section of the HRBT, but really across Hampton Roads, otherwise looking green. And green means go, really looking good out there. If you're looking to avoid the HRBT, I'd recommend you take South 664 25th Street to College Drive. You'll save about six minutes there. Back to you.